Hey, what's up, guys? We just got done watching Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, and we're going to talk about it. The usual cobble happens. Today, Cobble's first licensed female driver, Gulbahar Yousefi, hits the road in the front. That sucks. That sucks for women. So what's up? I'm Tech, and this is Kojak, and like we said, we just watched Whiskey Tango Foxtrot mm -hmm. starring Tina Fey. Yeah. And, uh, immediate reaction. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the immediate reaction is definitely positive for both yeah. of us. Both of us liked it a lot. But we're, we'll kind of go through the things that we liked and mm -hmm. the things that some people, I guess, would like, might not like, yeah. etc. But I will say that it is great to have a good movie to talk about. Yeah, finally, yeah. it's been it, it's been a while. Uh -huh. um, I mean, like the first two we had, or at least doing the in-car reviews, we had uh, Gods of Egypt, which wasn't that magical. No, uh, and then The Witch, which thankfully I didn't see. <laughs> yeah. So and and obviously we didn't like that. And yeah. uh, real quick, just before we start talking about this. Mm -hmm. We are going to be doing a Critique the Critics on this, yeah. so make sure you check it out right up there once we have the card for it, uh, or just make sure you check it out on Tuesday when it comes out. Subscribe so you'll know. Yeah. You know, that's just how we do it. So, okay, so basically this was produced by Lauren Michaels and Tina Fey. Mm -hmm. So technically it's an SNL movie. Uh, I don't know if that's true. <laughs> um, basic, yeah. very, very basic bit of plot. Uh, you have a woman who is basically writing in a newsroom behind a desk. Mm -hmm. um, the war in Afghanistan is going on. Then the war in Iraq gets added. So there's two wars going on at the same time. And they don't have enough to, people to cover both. Right. So they basically are taking anyone they can who works in the newsroom and sending them to Afghanistan to cover... Mm -hmm because they got all their top people covering Iraq. Mm. This is not what I thought this movie was going to be at all. Not at all. It was, I was expecting it to be kind of like, mostly just like a comedy movie with some little feel good stuff in there. And it ended up being- A lot I, of things. A lot of things. It was well, or like, it was well shot. Mm -hmm. It was well shot. It was just well done. Um, Acting, acting was, was not like that overdone mm -hmm. that you would expect from like, oh, Tina Fey's in a movie. There's going to be some really ridiculous, like, physical comedy gags and stuff. It was just... The humor was really subtle, and uh, and they managed to really get uh, characters yeah. out of the performances. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just like... It was very... Yeah. Character driven. You got to know the characters. Mm -hmm. You liked them or didn't like them or right. or whatever, you know? like it, and, and that that's... That's really where the humor came out was yeah. like situations and characters and not like punchlines and we're going to just be as funny as we possibly can. Yeah. It did have comedy. It did have mm -hmm. comedy. It was very Definite well done humor. comedy. Mm -hmm. um, like it was just well written into the script instead of being like, let's try to fit this joke into the movie. Mm -hmm. um, my person, one of my personal favorite characters was uh, Fatim or uh, her fixer. Was that Fahim or Fahim? Fatim. I, I don't. I don't sure know exactly. Um, I looked up very briefly and forgot it immediately. Yeah. <laughs> but he is a very subdued character, not a main character at all. Um, and a lot of his acting was done without speaking, but very um, subtly the, with the his character, face. Um, uh, the actor, his name's Christopher something. Um, and I'm probably wrong with that too. <laughs> but he managed to basically say everything without actually saying anything. And I know that sounds weird, but being able to do that is amazing. Yeah. I mean, all of the acting in here is phenomenal. You have yeah. Tina Fey, you have uh, Margot Robbie, mm -hmm. you have Martin Freeman, yeah. uh, who is always good in just, pretty much everything he's, he's done. Yeah, and, yeah. and So you have excellent actors, obviously. Mm -hmm. It's shot very well. The use of, uh, of music was yeah. fantastic. We won't go. We don't want to spoil anything. We won't yeah. go too far into it. We'll just say that like the music was very intentional mm -hmm. and oftentimes very satirical, and it made you see something and hear something and then think something new with the combination of the two things that were done. Yeah, and which was really creative. 
on it's the, been done before. It's been it's been done over and over. Yeah, like it, but they but, did it. But very they did it well. They did it their way, and they did it yeah. really well for sure. Um, and so o- overall, I mean, we walked out really enjoying this movie and and thinking it was just great. Um, also, you know, initially going in thinking it was going to be an anti-war kind of like uh, not propaganda yeah, but yeah. like like something making a Just statement a, about war or making a statement about the state of things or making, whatever like kind of but like adding comedy gigs yeah that's kind of what I thought that's it was what we were be. thinking but what it really what it really ended up being was like this personal self journey movie mm. um, that made you kind of go along with this character and think about yourself you know and and yeah and that was a really cool aspect of it. It just it felt good to watch. Mm-hmm. Um, I is is that a good way to put it? It yeah. felt good to it felt good to watch. Just you know, it's just like it felt inspiring. It also messed with your emotions. It made you feel the intensity of being in that situation and feel mm-hmm. for the people that they introduced, even like extras. It was it was it's like if you took. Uh, Hurt Locker, Forrest Gump, and Eat, Pray, Love, and just put them in a polyamorous relationship. In Afghanistan. In Afghanistan. <laughs> you would probably kind of end up with this movie. Yeah. And uh, and for the people, I mean, there are people who are not going to like this movie. No. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Um, this is... Uh, this is for sure. Yeah. Yeah. The, no question. This is definitely like a thought-provoking movie mm-hmm. it is not just your straight throat in your face comedy the humor you're gonna get from it is the type of humor that you kind of have to catch um, especially because they, they didn't dumb it down they didn't no. say like here's a joke yeah and you're like oh that's a joke you know they, they definitely expected their audience to just get it just to understand it and so that was great yeah so yeah. So I I know for a fact that there are definitely people who don't like that type of humor, yeah. and that's not that's not their thing. Um, and a lot of I know a lot of people who, when they go see a movie, they don't want something that's going to be kind of necessarily inspirational, mm-hmm. uh, inspirational, or something that like makes you search yourself and your own life. Right. Um, if you don't like that, you're, you're this is definitely not a movie you want to watch. Can um, we bring up what we looked up? With I am are looking at Rotten Tomatoes. So yes. we looked it up very briefly. Um, Sixty some critics have already done this one, uh, and it got a sixty percent. And we were surprised. And the witch still is standing strong at eighty percent. It's really confusing because and he's upset. <laughs> I'm really upset. He was looking it up, and I said I am going to flip out if this did worse. In critics' minds, than the witch, and uh, he did. And we it, had to pull over. He ran laps around the I car. Laps he took a car. breath, yeah. and uh, you know he's he's better now. Mm. We uh, the fifth of whiskey's yeah. gone. But <laughs> uh, but I, but like I said, there are going to be people who uh, don't like this movie, yeah. and and it it made sense. It was sixty two percent for the viewers, mm-hmm. and that actually makes sense because I can I see expected that. Yeah, I can see thirty eight percent of people not wanting a movie like this mm-hmm. for sure, because it, again, movies aren't every movie isn't for everybody. Yeah. But critics, like people with, like the critical mind or whatever, who are who like movies. I mean, this is the type of movie that will probably be up for awards. This is, I hope so. Yeah, this it's is, unfortunate this is, that it's so early in the year because that often yeah. does not help a movie's case for because sure. it's been almost forgotten by the time it comes around to that. But I hope mm-hmm. that they give it a chance and that it at least gets. A mention or a nomination or something later down the road for a major yeah. um, event. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And uh, I mean, honestly, like I personally, and as far as like replay mm-hmm. value of this, one thing that's really eventually. Well, no, yeah. I, I think a thing that's kind of interesting about this one is some of the movies that are uh, about more intense mm-hmm. subjects don't have a lot of replay right. value. I mean, like if, what dreams may come. That's like yeah. once every like. Eight years after you've gotten over your yeah. viewing the first time, and who's like running out and buying the Blu-ray of Schindler's List and just watching it over and over again? That's totally what I do. Liar, <laughs> um, you know. But this movie, I can actually see myself like watching again, like yeah. really soon. And it, it's really interesting to have yeah. it's subject it's, matter like that, and me mm-hmm. be like, "Yeah, I'll watch that again. That was yeah. that was enjoyable." It's not Avengers rewatchability or no. something like that, no. but. 
I would not be opposed to um, supporting it and buying the DVD sure. or the Blu-ray Those or good. you know something like that because it was well done. If if you like movies that um, aren't necessarily uh, like love stories, because it's definitely not a love story or anything like that, and it, but it's not like an action anything. Um, it's more of a following just following people it's a, it's yeah. it's like yeah it's about it's about people characters and like that journey that mm-hmm. people take you know yeah so uh, one of our questions is did you even know about this movie right. because i mean we ha- we have to look up movies because we're mm-hmm. doing this for yeah. you guys and uh we, it's, uh, that's why we know about it but like did you guys even know this movie was coming out uh did yeah. any of you see it did you like it? Are you planning on seeing it? Uh, we'd love to pick your brain and hear you what you guys think. You should go watch it. Yeah, I, I would. Say Our go suggestion watch it. is definitely yeah. to watch it, especially if if mm-hmm. you're the type of, if you're the type of people that we were describing. Yeah. If you just want like in your face comedy, mm-hmm. like shut your brain off type of movie, definitely no, don't see no. this. That it's it's not for yeah. you. Um, but yeah, we definitely want to hear what you think. Uh, if you're interested in seeing this movie, or or if you're just like, nope, that's not for me. Yeah. Anything you have to say about Whatever it, it we would love to chat with you. Yeah. And again, like we said, there's going to be a critique to critics on this Tuesday. Mm-hmm. If you want to see more reviews and us making fun of critics and everything, you could just click right up there to check yeah. it out. Um, yeah. Also, if you haven't subscribed to Boss Level 8 yet, you should totally do it so we can keep hanging out, talking about movies, talking about nerdy stuff. We'll mm-hmm. talk about whatever you want with us. And, uh, and uh, also... Except for that. We're not we'll going to talk about that. No. Sorry. No, sorry. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's... That's, uh, that's a really sore subject, we, so we yeah, can't talk about that. Um, we've, yeah. we've brought it up, but we, we won't talk about that. But anything else. Anything yes, else. Anything else. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> well, we appreciate it, guys, and uh, we can't wait to hear from you guys uh, about this movie and any other movies. And if there's a movie you want us to see so we can review it, tell us, all right? And until we see you guys next time, geek, geek out and game, game on. on.